James, where you at, man? Where you at, man? I wish you were here. Good work. You're super talented, dude. I wish you were here, homie. Look, James, look what you did, James. Look what you did, James. That's you, man. You did that. That's you did that. Great work, James. Yeah, James. Beautiful work. Yeah, man. That's how I don't draw. Just draw about it. Be here, man. Good. Wish you were here, James. So we get to keep that now, right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs>I'm James, the box office artist, and today we are drawing The Defenders. Now again, this is uh, an older piece of art that I've done. If you've been following me for a long time, you've seen this uh, many times. <laughs> I've done many iterations of this video, but again, a lot of you have subscribed to my channel, so a lot of you have not seen this. I don't expect you, when you subscribe, to go through 500 or so videos <laughs> to see what I put up, but uh, this is one of my favorite pieces. That's why today I'm sharing it with you, also because I ran out of blue lead, so I can't draw anything new yet today. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a challenge with that a little later on, maybe for tomorrow, but we will see. But this is one of my favorite pieces, and as you saw at the beginning, uh, you saw John Berenthal and you saw Charlie Cox talk about it, and uh, my friend there, you saw him as well, Apple De La Fuente, one of the sweetest guys you'll ever meet, one of my best friends in the world. Um, I actually did this for him, uh, that was probably two years now, <laughs> when I did this for him, and again, it is one of my favorite pieces, so this is a piece I wanted to share with you, also because uh, Defenders is also a way that I got to know my friend Jazza. A lot of you came from Draw With Jazza, so how did I actually meet him? Well, I've talked about it before, but I'll show you the piece that actually kind of introduced me to him. I'll show you that a little bit later on in the video, but first of all, I just want to show you guys one of my favorite pieces. That's me drawing uh, this Daredevil and Punisher piece, so let's watch that right now. Okay, uh, so the paper that I'm using here, this is a uh, I believe it's a 17 inch by 14 inch, so a little bit bigger than comic book size paper. So each one of these pieces, the Daredevil piece, the Punisher piece that interconnect, they are both on this size of paper. So this piece is actually very, very large here. And as you see, always using my Color Pilot Enoled uh, light blue. I've been using this pencil for 20 years. I've mentioned that in many of my videos. 20 years I've been using this pencil. And uh, I ran out of <laughs> lead, so I have to go pick some up today. Uh, and then going straight into ink. Now this, this technique is actually something I learned a long time ago. It's from... Uh, I learned this from um, an artist, his name is Tommy Yoon. Um, Tommy Yoon is actually a very famous artist, and well, I actually know him more from the uh, Speed Racer series he did with Wildstorm, but uh, I, I, was, I was in awe that he did pretty much most of the artwork, uh, and I'm like, how do you pencil and ink at the same time? And then I realized that he did blue line and then went straight ink to ink. So that's actually where I got that concept of just doing a blue line, going straight into ink. For me, uh, it's drawing the drawing once. If I actually fully penciled it, like regular comic artists do, before I used to do that, I would uh, completely pencil it and then ink on top of it. It's like drawing it twice, really. If I go straight to ink, it's like I only draw once. I cut my time down in half. That's why I'm so used to doing it now uh, in this way. I, I actually started doing that um, when I started working for IDW because I was actually working in VFX full time and working at IDW, I was doing a few uh, co covers here and there. I found this a lot faster. So, um, uh, you know, looking at this Daredevil now, like the size of the hand's probably a little too big. <laughs> but, you know, actually drawing him in full costume here and uh, doing the full background. I know a lot of you are like, James, what's up with the cities? You're always drawing cities. Yep, I'm gonna probably, I'll probably change that up this week. Not draw as many cities, but this is an older video. So, <laughs> give me a pass on drawing uh, the city here, but Especially because this is a nighttime scene, you are going to see me actually put a lot of uh, darks and blacks uh, in the actual background itself. And as you see there, I wanted, I was drawing another gargoyle and I decided to cover it. <laughs> also because I realized I needed a place because I knew the actors were going to see this and I wanted a place where they could sign. So that's why I put in uh, that uh, billboard there over top of that other gargoyle. <laughs> So there you go. And uh, drawing Charlie Cox there um, in, in the background, one of the big head there again. That uh, Drew Struzan um, influence on me. Um, you know, again, I would love to get back into the poster art. So I, I actually need to start getting back to doing more of those. Maybe I will be doing that this month, September now. 
So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Now, uh, here's the other side. Again, another size, uh, four, 14 by 17 uh, inches. So that brings the total amount to 17 inches by 28 inches, the entire piece all together. I lined it up so that I knew the background uh, would line up uh, properly. And I actually did this live on YouTube, the, the entire piece of um, the Punisher. I actually did that live on YouTube. So again, a lot of you guys have been asking me to do live streams. I keep promising and hopefully those will come soon. We'll, we'll see. It just depends on the schedule uh, that I have here. Now going, going ahead and drawing in this gun here. Uh, I, I do enjoy drawing weapons a lot and having a technical illustration background. I took technical, technical illustration in college. That actually helped me whenever I'm drawing weapons uh, like this. Though, though it does seem a tiny bit off to my eye, maybe not to yours, but I, I do see some uh, uh, perspective problems with the actual gun itself. Even with the background, I, like looking back at it, I, I see a whole bunch of perspective problems. That's what I get for not laying down a grid. Now I know if I laid down a grid, um, it would be a lot better if, um, you know, perspective will look a little bit better. As you can see, some of the lines here were a bit wonky. Uh, so there were, are a whole bunch of perspective things I would, I would fix. Sometimes detail can cover up a lot of that stuff, and sometimes it won't. Sometimes it won't. Um, that's uh, Sometimes people show me their portfolio, and they add tons of detail. They see my stuff, they want to add tons of lines, but their foundation isn't good. Uh, so it's like, you know, like uh, adding a lot of detail to a bad drawing. It really doesn't fix the drawing that much. but. Hopefully I was able to hide some of it with that. <laughs> but there you go, that is the final drawing. Again, colors help from my friend Kieran Oates, uh, but uh, all in all, I was really happy. So there you go, that is uh, the Daredevil Punisher piece. Again, one of my favorite pieces. Again, big shout out to my friend Kieran Oates who helped out with the colors. He did the base colors and I went on top with the textures and all of that. So that brings me to my next Defenders piece. And I did this one a while ago. This is around 2015. And this was actually an entry to Draw With Jazz's Netflix Down Under contest. Now let's be honest here. I'm a professional artist, okay? I've worked professionally in comic books. Uh, you know, I worked in movies. I shouldn't be really entering these uh, little contests uh, on the internet, but I did anyway, mainly because the prizes were cool. You know, you, get, you had got a Wacom tablet and, and all of this. Now, I didn't win. However, this was the piece that actually introduced me to uh, Draw With Jazza, Josiah Brooks, or Joss, as how we like to call him. Uh, but this is how we actually got started talking over Twitter and eventually became friends. So, uh, uh, Josiah Brooks, uh, Jazza, he is a buddy of mine. Uh, so, let's go over this next piece. Now, this was done before the Defenders came out, and this was done before um, Iron Fist or Luke Cage actually came out. Now we had casting news and everything, but I'll explain a little bit more as we go through the video. Defenders Down Under. Okay, so again, this is this is even before they showed Daredevil's full costume. That's how early I did this thing. So that's why he's in the black costume. And these were we knew these guys were cast, but uh, we didn't see any of their outfits. So that's why with Mike Coulter, I I, knew, I had a picture of him. But Iron Fist was not cast. That's why I just drew his fist. Okay, so I just drew Iron Fist's fist, right? And in this particular piece, it was Kingpin, and uh, he recruited a whole bunch of Australian animals as his henchmen. That's why we had a shark in a suit, here a koala in a suit, a kangaroo in a suit, Ozzy Ozzy Ozzy! <laughs> and they were attacking the defenders here uh, back uh, against a um, Australian uh, backdrop here. That's Sydney Opera House there. And uh, again, this, this was a ton of fun to do, like koalas jumping down from the top of the roof. So <laughs> I probably couldn't sell this piece now, but it was a lot of fun to do. So uh, if you guys wanted to hear, I'll actually let you hear uh, Josiah Brooks uh, Jazz's comments about this video. You can watch that right now. Box office artist created this amazing comic book style piece of Daredevil and the Defenders. You can see the piece littered with huge amounts of detail and subtle Australian touches here and there. This artist is an incredible comic book artist. You should definitely check out his channel, youtube.com slash the box office artist to see how this and other pieces were created. So there you go, that was Jazz's thoughts on my Netflix uh, Down Under piece. Uh, so, and now we are good friends uh, to this day. And again, my buddy Jazza, 
now at 3 million subscribers, couldn't be happier for him. Maybe I should do another drawing of him. We'll see uh, one of these days. A lot of you came over from his channel, so if you did, welcome. Or if you came over from my other videos, welcome, and hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I promise we'll do new content tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Only once in a while I'll be revisiting these old videos. Only the ones that I spent a ton of time on like this and I want to share with you guys. But I do want to thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best. But if you are new to my channel, you looked around, you like what you see. If you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, well, I will be your friend for life. Join my over 200,000 other best friends and we will draw every single day together. Don't forget to hit that bell so you'll know when I put out another video. Follow me on social media all down below. Hit that like button. Share this video with all of your friends. Hey, if you want to tag Charlie Cox and John Berthold go, I just saw this drawing the box office artist did of you. Would you like to do more work with them? <laughs> Wouldn't hurt, right? Wouldn't hurt. You'll be helping me out a lot. Ah, whatever. Don't do that if you don't want to. <laughs> but my name is James. I am the box office artist. I'm here to say keep drawing. And I'll see you all next time.